Right, so this is going to be fun. What I'm going to show you here is a quick example of how you can put your site map of your website straight into Google. Um, if the video still is running, I'll show you how to do it with Yahoo. But the principle is exactly the same. And effectively, what we've got is a new site here, Boomerang. We're going to create a site map of that using an online tool. And then we're going to upload it straight into Google Sitemaps. Google Sitemaps is very easy. If you've got a Google account, you can just find the sitemaps. You just do a search for Google Sitemaps and create a new sitemap. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our web address. into the add site box on Google Web, uh, Webmaster Tools and then effectively what we need to do or Google asks us to do is justify and say right is this your site we need you to verify it so the next step we're going to do is we're going to verify the site and the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually insert a line of code into the, met, into the metadata of the home page the index page so basically I'm going to select add meta tag and then what I need to do is copy that slice of code there so we'll copy that and then using my FT, uh, sorry my um, HTML editor I'm going to open up the index page so this is my home page this is my website here as seen on my local server so I'm going to open that file up and between these header tags here obviously making sure I don't break anything else I'm going to add in that line of text so that allows Google to come along to my website and say yeah this is your website now obviously because I'm the webmaster of this website I have the facility to do that you may not have that facility so I'm now going to upload that page using an FTP tool to upload it onto the live site so this is the live site here and that didn't look like it went, so we're going to try that again. Yeah, that's better, so that's gone. So now I'm going to go back to Google Sitemaps here, and I can now press that Verify button, because I've added the meta tag into the home page. So I'm going to verify that. Google then goes off, checks on my website to make sure I've done what I've just said I'm going to do. So now it says, yes, you've successfully verified the boomerangsolution.com. Now what I can do is I can actually add a sitemap. Now this sounds kind of complicated, but thanks to this lovely tool here, ROR Sitemap Generator, I can select my domain address, go into this tool, www.rorweb.com, paste the address into that box there, and say Generate Sitemap. Now what that does, it goes off to my website, and it creates an ROR sitemap that is just called ROR is just the name of the file they're creating and it creates it as an XML file so there it is all there so now what I can do is I can copy that code there go into a text editor or in this case I'm going to go back to my HTML editor and I'm going to paste all of that information into a file so there you go that's basically the registration of this particular page here product management which is in the folder features which is on the main domain. I'm going to save that file in the right folder obviously so I need to save it on the root level of my server so that's basically the top level and I need to call that ROR.XML and I can save that so that's done. What I also need to do and this page here ROR web gives you all the information is Similar to what I've just done with the Google, I need to, to tell the home page where my sitemap XML file is. So again, all I need to do is copy that information there, go back to my website, upload the home page, there's the line of code I've just edit, edited, the meta name, add a new line and paste it again between these header tags. I'll just tidy that up because the developers won't like me otherwise. And then all I need to do is upload that onto the main server. Let's try that again. And then we're done. So the search engines will come along. I also need to obviously upload my ROR XML file. And once I've done this once, 
if I add or delete pages away from my website, all I need to do is go back to rorweb.com, generate a new sitemap, copy and paste that information there into my ROR file. Obviously, I need to delete what's in there, so I literally just go into there, select all, delete it, and then paste the new sitemap in, save that, upload that file, and it's done. So theoretically, depending on how often you change your web pages, you can just do that once a week. So now, if we go back to Google Webmaster Tools, I can now add a sitemap because I've added my new file in. So if I say add a sitemap, what kind is it? It's a general web sitemap. And what's the URL? So effectively, it's http colon forward slash forward slash the boomerang solution and then forward slash ROR.xml so that basically tells Google that my sitemap file is go to the web root of boomerangsolution.com there's the file there on the top level forward slash ROR.xml then add sitemap simple what you can do after a while is when Google's registered all your pages you can come back to your statistics and it gives you all the relevant information about your web pages what kind of page rank they've got this is a brand new site so all the page ranks are very low it will also tell you what people are searching in to your into Google to find your website so for instance if I go back to a, an established um, domain name so for instance let's go to the escape I can see on my statistics here, and obviously this has been for a while, we've got query stats. It tells me what the top search queries are, where I actually sit within the Google ranking. It also tells me when people do a search, um, what, are the, what are the terms that they're searching for, where they actually click onto my site. So the top one is the escape, and where average top position is number one there. Offices in Basingstoke, 115. And that's about it, really. It's very, very simple. Yahoo have a similar tool called Site Explorer. Pretty much works exactly the same way. Um, it's very, very easy to use. Hope that's been of help.